is up guys and welcome back to day eight of the John Boat build. Today we're painting the John Boat red, my favorite color. Right now it is green from the factory. So all of these stickers, all the decals are all gonna have to come off and then I'm gonna have to sand down the entire boat. I'm not gonna sand off all the paint. I'm just gonna sand it to rough up the surfaces. I got some 80 grit sandpaper right here and I'm just gonna lightly scratch up the surface just so it will make the paint stick better. So my boat does sit outside under some trees and it gets very dirty. Uh, there's a bunch of branches in there, some leaves. I went ahead and swept all that out, vacuumed it all out. It is very windy and dry where I live and it got pretty dusty from sitting outside. I will vacuum and get all this small stuff out once I'm done sanding it because I know once I sand it, it's gonna make a dusty mess. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with taking off all the decals. No more Alumacraft. I should put Adam Ryan Craft. That'd be cool. Made in the USA. Nice. All right, I got all the decals off. Now I get to go through and sand the entire boat. This will not be fun. I got 80 grit sandpaper. And again, I'm not taking off all the paint. I'm just scratching up the surface to help the new paint stick a lot better. The next two days are supposed to be like 90 degrees, 92 degrees. So it is the perfect time to paint. I'm using a oil-based enamel and you don't want to use a oil-based enamel in the cold weather because it will not dry very fast and also it won't harden as much. So the next two days, like I said, it's supposed to be 92 degrees. I think the third day drops down to 80 and then it's back in the 90s at the whole week. So this is the perfect time to be painting the garage. I'm going to sand the boat out here just to not get all the dust and particles in the garage. And then once I get done sanding and cleaning the boat, we're gonna go move it into the garage and it will stay there for the next few days while it dries. I got all the outside sanded and I'm about to sand the inside. But it felt so wrong to scratch up a brand new John boat. But I've worked with oil paint in the past and I know that it dries really smooth. So I'm not really worried about scratching up the boat because the new paint will look 10 times better. All right, the John boat is back in the garage, out of the wind. I'm gonna quickly go through and clean everything. We got some towels, some water. I'm gonna go through, get off all the dust, all the dirt, all the bird poop, <laughs> and then we can go ahead and paint it. I'm not gonna show me cleaning it off because honestly, it's gonna take a while. All right, I got the entire boat wiped down and cleaned. And that absolutely sucked. That was the worst thing in the world. <laughs> no, it wasn't that bad, but it was pretty bad. I got the entire, I got every inch of this thing wiped down, cleaned off and dried. And now it is ready for some paint. So I'm gonna leave it on the trailer and just paint everything I can see, which is basically everything but the very bottom. Once this dries, I'll have to flip it over and paint the bottom. I'll show you the paint I got. I just got a oil-based enamel, but it is red. Safety red. Hopefully that looks good. This was the brightest red that they make in this uh, oil-based enamel. So basically it's the only option I have for red. Hopefully it comes out good. It does look a lot brighter on camera than what I'm seeing in real life. But uh, I think it'll be all right. I think it'll still look pretty good. Man, I should really keep that open because of the fumes, but it's so windy outside. I don't want dirt and all that stuff to fly in and land on the wet paint. I'm gonna start in the back because I feel like it's more technical 
a lot of curves and hidden spots. So we'll get the hard part done first. Okay, so I got a roller and a brush. First you wanna go over it with the roller and then you wanna smooth it out with the brush. That will give you a really smooth finish. So that is what I'm going to do. All right, let's get a first look at this paint. Oh baby, that is red. Okay, I'm happy with that. That looks a lot redder, a lot brighter. I feel like I might just need to use a brush back here. And this uh, roller might be too big, but we'll see. Start on the wall. I'm already digging it, man. That's gonna be so sick when it's done. So there is the first layer of paint. We got the inside painted and now the outside painted. I still need to paint the bottom, but I will have to flip the boat over to do that. But I'm gonna give this 24 hours to dry, which works out perfect because tomorrow, me and Devin are gonna take a trip out to Lake McKenzie and spend all day on the kayaks. So the paint will be dry by the time I get back, but man, this boat is gonna look awesome with the red paint and the gray carpet. So this is just the first layer. I'm gonna have to do multiple layers of paint, I'm also going to wet sand between each layer. I went a little heavy on this layer and there's a few spots where the paint dripped, but I will clean all that off with the wet sanding. This painting is a lot of work and I ain't even close to being done with the painting portion of this project, but it will be worth it in the end with a really clean and smooth paint job. Ah! 